Welcome back, everyone, to episode 75 of the Top 5 PvP Battles. If you guys want to send in your own clips for the Top 5, you can send them to ChristopherESO at Hotmail.com. And starting us off today, we have got Lavalli showing us how the Sork Bomb works. Oh my. Lavalli has got the Vampire Drain going, all the buffs that he needs as well. And then the AoE Crystal Blast and uh yeah dumping the meteor as well it looks like he is actually running the the meteor that returns ultimate when he hits his targets so the crystal blast being an aoe as well and then the aoe execute and he's just feeding them the blasts here trying to get a splash on someone and get the aoe execute and i would assume there is some vicious death going on in this build too and that is so cool to see a bomb sork like this and look at that massive 78k ap tick the valley setting up the next combo here so there's the crystal blast the second one huge aoe smack on it the execute and another big splash on the flag there and the valley picking up some more kills and look at this sticking out the last kill and good old fall damage coming in strong for our next fight we have got frostmere on the magicka warden and frostmere is outside of his friendly keep here and there are a lot of yellow players he's got one player dead on the ground here and he's trying to prevent the res from happening these guys are attempting that res and frostmere punishes him with a huge combo coming out of that deep fissure and uh, he just keeps putting the pressure on here keeping his heals up as well warden especially magicka warden has some awesome healing power while it's under pressure and Frostmere is just showing us the, the work there. These guys are desperately trying to go for the res. Frostmere is just going to switch to his sword and board bar and go for the bashes. And Frostmere does a great job just shutting these guys down. They both right away try to stick the res out. And Frostmere picks up a huge smack on that guy with the deep fissure. And finishes him off with the poke. Again getting the bash on the other yellow player attempting the res. Look at these guys are dedicated to getting those reses. And Frostmere is doing a great job just keeping that defense up again. And uh, keeping the pressure on these guys. Preventing them from picking the bodies up. Oh no. He's not going to be able to stick this out. More and more yellow are pouring off the hill here. So he, uh, he heads back to the rocks, resetting his buffs, and just being patient with the yellow. I think he wanted to try to pull them to the terrain here, but the yellow players are being a little bit coy. So he comes back out again, hits them with an attack, and the yellow players here actually take a lot of damage from that meteor. Frostmere almost sticking out the kill on that Sork, but he takes a lot of pressure himself, and again, he's not going to be able to just sit with that much pressure, so he needs to have a bit of terrain to work these guys. So he heads back to the trees here, pulling a few yellow this time with that aggression. He's going to keep going for those deep fissure combos, just laying down the AoE herd on these guys as he rotates his defensive abilities, um, keeping, that, uh, keeping that range shield up to such a good ability to just shut down incoming ganks. And of course, the yellow Nightblades are the first to jump on top of him. Frostmere putting some huge pressure into them with those deep fissures, and uh, he does a great just counter smack on them there, taking the stun from the enemy player, quickly breaking it, and then right away going for more pressure on top of these enemy players. This Dragon Knight had no juice in the tank, it looks like, and now there is uh, a couple blue players here as well. Frostmere is going to just uh, hit both of them. He doesn't care. Everyone's a foe here, so he just keeps catching up to these guys using the speed boost, and he goes for the deep fissure again. He's in his ultimate as well, hitting them with that nasty snare, and one player goes down. Frostmere jumping on top of the last yellow that tried to get away. Cleaning up that fight, nice stuff. And for our next battle, we have got Nero bringing us some Stamina Templar. And he's got quite a few red following him up the tower here. He throws down his fields, goes for the stun on the first player that followed him there into the jabs. Great damage on that Nightblade, unfortunately unable to stick the kill out as he just goes defensive. And uh, I think that was a good call. He ended up blocking that incoming Dawnbreaker. And there's a great just a uh, heavy attack smack. The dual wield heavy attack being a very powerful heavy, also very fast. So you can return resource with it really reliably. And there you see a great, uh, a great jab combo on that player there. He goes down from the... The pressure just kind of sticking himself in a bad position on the edge there Nero catching another player with a huge Dawnbreaker into jab combo and he had set that with the power of the light as well this guy's attempting to go for the res Nero's quickly going to bash that and uh, actually hit him with the javelin sorry and go for the pressure all of these players are right away trying to go for the reses here Nero gets him with the interrupt that player should not have tried to attempt that with low HP like that Nero just picking up an easy kill there and a big Dawnbreaker smack as this guy comes around the corner Nero picking up another kill 
He's got his last opponent left here. He dots him up with the uh, with the power of the light, goes into the jab work, and the opposing player starts whipping out the dizzy swings. Nero does a good job just kind of dancing around him and uh, going for the jab pressure. He does a good job sidestepping the Dawnbreaker as well. He brings the opponents down. Good fight. And moving on to our next fight, we have got Lapu on the Magic of Dragon Knight. And he's just trying to take a resource here, and he gets jumped by a lot of yellow players. He's going to move himself into the tower and uh, just set down a big nasty combo on this guy, hitting with the Fossilize into the Immobilize. The enemy Templar not breaking that Immobilize, so it does a good job just kind of holding him still. And Blap is just uh, being kind of defensive there. A little bit of lag going into that leap, um, but Blap right away going for pressure on the lower health player. And more yellow start coming in the uh, front of the door here. Blap's just going to work his way back towards the doorway, doing a great job controlling this fight. Magicka Dragon Knight, quite a difficult class to play solo in PvP. And Blap's just showing us how to do it by using that control that Mag DK has. And the enemy players here just going for the defensive ultimates as well. It's great to force that out of them. It just buys Blap a little bit of time. And it also does uh, means that they won't hit him with such a hard smack when they try to combo him out. And Blap just going for huge AoE pressure there. The deep breath into the leap. Again, a little bit of lag on that leap. But he does a good job countering that incoming meteor with the mist form. And uh, he's going to move his way back up the staircase here. Just kind of uh, healing himself as he goes. And he's going to reset his offensive and defensive buffs here. And just wait for these guys to come up the staircase. Leading with that heavy attack off the sword and board bar. Just to get a little bit more stamina back as he engages. And the first player that comes up here just uh, does not respond well at all. Blap just puts a bit of pressure into him. And he jumps off the edge. Oh no. Blap right away just turns around. This guy leads with the Radiant. Blap's going to hit him with that really quick bash. He's got the leap ready. Goes for it on this player here. And hits him with that big smack to finish him off. The enemy Templar going for the jab business. And uh, he really should be going for the heal instead. He's still trying to put the pressure on Blap. Blap hits him with that Fossilize as he's low HP. And that's going to be a killer stun. And the next player comes around the corner here. He uh, jumps off the edge. Blap says, no, nah, you ain't getting away. Chases him out the side here. Hits him with that deep breath into the leap for that big combo. And the enemy Nightblade just trying to dodge the whips. Blap connects with the last one. Cleans up the fight. But there are more yellow coming. There we see a big gank coming out of stealth. And Blap works his way back into the keep here. And uh, he's just waiting for this Nightblade to re-engage. The Nightblade again attempts to go for the gank. Blap just hits the deep breath here to just keep the AoE pressure down. Catches him with that uh, Fossilize as well. And the enemy player is going to uh, shade back to his shade there, attempting to try to get away from the AoE spam of Blap. He made the right move, unfortunately didn't get far enough away from the shade, and Blap is just going to keep the heavy pressure on this enemy Nightblade as the sniper that had opened on him originally goes for the open again. This time, Blap had his block up, so he uh, doesn't take the huge damage combo there, and right away... More and more yellow player jumping on top of him. Blap very low on resources here. So he opts to mist back up to the top of the tower here. Just going to give himself a little bit of time to get some resources back. And the yellow players, of course, are going to follow. Re-engage. And Blap just stays strong defensively. And then right away puts the AoE pressure down. Uh, immobilizing everybody. And then trying to go for some pressure there. And he forces the group of yellow here to just scatter. And he goes for that deep breath again into the talons. He wants to set up that leap combo, um, but he didn't get the opportunity there. The enemy meteor was coming down. Blap attempts to go for the counter leap, but again, it looks like uh, they're experiencing a bit of lag delay on ultimates like leap and meteor. And there we see a huge counter meteor from Blap. He hits him with the deep breath again. Everybody is fought for talent here as well. He's just keeping that big AoE pressure down. And deep breath, such a great 1BX skill for the Magicka Dragon Knight. You can get a lot of healing power off of it, and Blap just so good with his positioning, pulling so much health out of it, so much counterburst on this group, and that was a massive turnaround on the fight. Blap just stopping the res there with the bash, continuing to keep the pressure up on the remaining yellow players, hitting this guy with the fossilize, and uh, does not have the juice left to stay alive. He just manages to survive. Blap doesn't want this res to go through. Deep, uh, deep Breath actually interrupts as well. He tried to get the interrupt with the Deep Breath there, but a little bit lower on Magicka. Follows up in with that leap on this guy here. He's going to pull him out of stealth again with that AoE pressure that the Dragon Knight can put out. The Fossilized Stun into the Whips. Fantastic fight. And for our last fight today, we have got Upshot bringing us an incredibly interesting 
one BX on a really cool stamina warden build. He's got two H resto staff, and right off the bat, upshot putting some huge AOE damage into these guys. And he's just going to continue to move his way uh, back behind the terrain here. The yellow players are starting to converge on the bodies. Upshot knows that uh, he has to be really careful how he tries to engage with that. A single yellow player tries to go for the engage here on Upshot. Upshot just putting so much damage into him. Now this is a really cool build, so he's actually running the Resto Staff heal on his back bar. It makes me believe that he is running the Resto Staff that returns uh, resource when you use the Rapid Regen heal. And uh, his healing power with that Resto ability is not crazy high, but Warden gets access to a lot of healing buffs, so they have really high just base healing power in general. And Upshot right away, massive combo there with the, with the uh, Deep Fissure into the Execute. Wanted to set up on the next player there. He's got the off balance from the Dizzy Swing. Hits him with that partial charged heavy and Dawn Breaker as well. But the enemy player does a great job reacting to it, getting the friendly heal as well. And Upshot is, uh, he's not fighting chumps here. These guys are fighting hard and he is dropping huge combos on them to kill them. Super big combo there to bring that guy down. I believe Upshot has got the Malakath Band of Brutality on as well. And he is putting out some crazy non-crit numbers on this build. And there you see right away, he works his way back into the keep, uh, back into the uh, side of the tower there, keeping those heals up, and then turns back into the yellow group, trying to stop the player from getting the reds with the Dawnbreaker uh, subterranean assault combo. But the yellow players are wise to the fight now, and they're not going to let him get away with that. A lot of pressure coming on him here. And look at Upshot in a really, really bad spot. He's very low on resources. He's got a lot of pressure on him. He's just going to do his best to stay alive here. Really good job just kind of weaving in those heavy attacks. Great positioning in the tower there too. And uh, the healing power on this build really discouraged those yellow from trying to stick out that offensive pressure when they had their chance. Look at that counter Dawnbreaker upshot picking one to kill with the Executioner there. And they're just trying to move out of the AoE there. But the dot from the Dawnbreaker finishing off the overzealous yellow player. And uh, Upshot's right away going to stop this guy from rezzing. The enemy yellow player actually rolls out of that rez on his own, so he definitely makes the right call attempting the rez there. And uh, Upshot's going to pick up another kill as he's just putting out so much AoE coverage with this subterranean assault. A huge Dawnbreaker smack on that Nightblade. Unfortunately, he had CC immunity, so Upshot's not going to be able to stick the kill out there. But he just keeps pushing into these guys. He's got a few bodies dead in really good positions here. And the rest of the yellow players are on top of the ram. It looks like maybe four or five left. And Upshot's going to just uh, keep those heals up. And that cheeky Resto Staff heavy attack. Really interesting for this build because Warden, again, having so many healing buffs. Getting that uh, major mending buff off the Resto heavy is really nice. And Upshot just does a great job defending himself well, using the healing power to come back from the uh, lower hit points, and then just going for a huge burn as he turns around on these guys, hitting them with a big combo. The enemy Templar again with a good stun there, as an enemy Nightblade goes for a nasty, nasty gank there, and Upshot finding himself very low hit points. Great job using his terrain here, just fantastic movement. He's super low on resource, but he's not panicking. He's making great moves. He sticks out the full resto heavy attack, getting that mending buff so important. And now he's got himself again in that position. The uh, subterranean assault comes down, a huge combo with the Dawnbreaker. And Upshot brings another one down. Now he goes for huge pressure on this guy here. The enemy Nightblade just spamming the rolls away. And Upshot very low on resources himself, but just enough stamina to land those last two uh, heavy attacks. And he leads with the Resto Heavy off full Magicka again, just favoring that healing buff, I think, going into the engagement. And uh, it serves him well as they're unable to really put a lot of pressure into him. And Upshot gets that big Subterranean into the Dawnbreaker, the Executioner. This last guy here, man, just gets brought down on the siege. Such a cool build to watch in action. And of course, the movement was absolutely fantastic. Such a good fight. And for the bonus clip today, we've got Cheemers bringing us some fantastic Meg Sork bombing. Just cleaning up everybody on the flag there with some more fights to come. A big thank you and shout out to everybody who sent those clips in. Be sure to check out the creators featured today down in the links below. And if you guys want to send in your own clips, you can send them to ChristopherESO at Hotmail.com. You can give me a follow on Twitter if you guys want to keep up to date with my stream times and my shenanigans. Of course, check out that live stream on Twitch if you guys want to catch the uh, live stuff. 
Check out my website, ChristopherESO.com, a hub for all of my ESO content and written guides for all of my builds as well. We are sponsored by What The Fast. They're a VPN for gamers. They can give you better ping to your favorite games, and they're free to try for the first month. Link in the description down below for you guys. And of course, a huge shout out and a huge thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon. Without you guys, I couldn't do this job, so thank you so much for helping out. Thank you guys so much just for tuning in today. And as always, I hope that you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.